Jeremy Noller bringing you another extended More Minutes lesson. Art Taylor was one of the most in-demand drummers in New York City in the 1950s and early 60s. Before he moved to Europe in 1963, he had over 100 recording credits to his name. Minute of Drums episode 43 featured a brush trading phrase that Art Taylor played on the song Candy from Lee Morgan's 1958 record of the same name. Before I jump back into that phrase and give you another one to try, I want to talk about some brush fundamentals. When playing a swing groove on brushes, I like to get a nice articulate sound on the right with the left hand reinforcing the beat and adding sustain. The left hand motion is something that often gets overlooked. I think of the sweeping motion in the left hand as starting with the attack of the right rather than moving in between. This helps to really enforce the driving feel of the swing groove. Here's an exercise to help you work on this. I'll start with my hands on opposite sides of the drum. Which side you start on isn't important, so pick the side that's comfortable for you. When I strike the drum with my right, the left hand will start moving. Then I'll do the same on the opposite side. Check the motion out very slowly. Now, try it a bit faster and see if you can connect the left hand sweeps together. Remember to keep the focus on the start of the left hand movement. Here's an exercise to help you check in on this while adding in the basic swing pattern. I'll play the full swing pattern with both hands for one bar and alternate that with the left hand alone for one bar. Make sure you can still feel the pulse clearly when it's just the left hand. Now, so you can see that concept in action, here's a full groove at a faster tempo. Okay, back to the minute of drums phrase. Here's the original recording of Art Taylor on Lee Morgan's Candy. There's a slick ending to this phrase that I left out of the original lesson. Taylor ends with a drag leading to a crash on the open hi-hat on beat one. He then lets the hi-hat simmer until beat four when he brings it back in for timekeeping. There's also a snare accent on the end of three that breaks up the first bar of the new phrase. I thought this little detail was so slick that I had to grab it. To demonstrate this, I'm gonna make it into a four bar phrase. I'll start with the fourth bar of the trading, then play the ending which goes through to bar one of the new phrase. I'll play swing time for bars two and three and loop it. The real challenge here is actually the bass drum. Hitting that accent on beat one with the hi-hat crash and then getting right back down to feathering volume is tricky. Check it out slowly and then at the recorded tempo.
There's a great drum intro on this track that I also want to show you. Check out how Art Taylor kicks off the tune. Notice that little brush trick in there? Taylor's using a kind of flutter technique throughout this phrase. Let me demonstrate this for you. I'm going to strike the brush on the snare rim at a higher angle than normal. Then I'll hold it there and bend it in slightly so the brush flutters against the head. Check it out. Don't worry too much about the speed of your flutters, just see if you can get the sound comfortably. Now I'll show you how Taylor uses these in his introduction. I'm going to play the first four bars slowly and then the second four bars slowly. Once you've got those, I'll put it all together slow and then at the recorded tempo. I'll start all of these examples with a simple count off on the hi-hat. Some great brush ideas from one of the masters. Be sure to check out the rest of this album and see where else it leads you into Art Taylor's extensive discography. Thanks for watching and happy practicing. Mm -hmm.